Good morning everyone and welcome to AG Africa. Today I'm excited because we are going to be doing some American Girl doll DIYs. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe down below. And this is actually my third DIY video, so don't forget to check those out. They'll be linked in the description down below after you've watched this video. With that said, let's get started. For DIY, the only thing you're going to be needing is a sticky note. You can use any size of paper, but I like using a sticky note because then I know how big my box is going to be. So we're making like a little um, trinket dish and this is just like a simple origami like craft. So the first thing you're going to do is because it's a square, just fold it so it doesn't really matter. Fold it in half again. But this time when you fold it, you're only folding it for the crease so you can unfold it again. Fold down so on the side where it has the fold, bend down both sides and then where it actually has two only fold down the top one then flip this over the other two sides Then pick up both, and then this part can be a little tricky. You want to just try and fiddle with it so you can get like a box-like shape. You should get a shape that looks like this. Take the corners and try and pinch them as much as you can. This part's a little tricky. I'm sorry, my fingers are covered in paint. We're working on our dollhouse right now. That video is coming out very shortly. And then try and tuck it into the little fold here. So I'll show you again. Just take this, make this into a point, and then tuck it into that little section. It looks a lot more complicated than it actually is, I promise. And then here is the little box. Here's the box in relation to the doll's hand. So like I said, I like to use a sticky note because I feel like it gives a nice little size and you can use any color paper. I think this is so versatile and you can decorate it and I think it's overall just a really cute craft. So on to the next one. For the next DIY is some hot glue and some corks and pardon the newspaper, I just want to protect my surfaces. So what we're going to be doing for this is we're actually making a cork board, hence the corks. So what you're going to do is you're going to organize your corks in a pattern that you like. So you could do it like this. It depends how long you want your cork board to be. It could be like this. It all depends on how you want it to look like. Um, so let's get started. I'm adding in some more corks and the final product is a cute little cork board like this. I think they are so cute. And like the patterns, they just add like a little bit of style. So yeah, I'm gonna add in some clips and now you can just hang it in your American Girl book. The next DIY, we are going to be making a doll eye mask like the one here. You need scissors, an elastic, a needle and thread, and of course, your fabric. So you want to do is cut out the shape of your eye mask from your fabric. So the way that I did mine was I flipped over a section of it then start with a very simple rectangle. I honestly free doing this but I fold it in half usually so that I have a symmetrical thing and then cut out like a little triangle section for the nose and then round that out even out this part then I try and curve this corner okay does everyone hear that noise what is that what I'm so sorry And then I sometimes round this corner just a tiny bit. And then you have a shape of my mask. And 
don't worry if it's not perfect because when we sew it together, these seams will be covered. Then get your piece of elastic. Mine is about six inches, but I just measure around my doll's head. And since mine has a little stretch, I did make mine a little smaller than it had to be. And also don't forget when you're doing this, part of it is going to be inside the mask. So, so here I actually did the wrong thing. You do put it on the outside. I just made a stupid mistake, so don't listen to anything I do. Um, throughout the thing, you'll see that I put it in the wrong place, but um, yeah, it'll be fixed in the end. So you've sewn all the way around your thing. So now you want to take, hopefully, as I said, leave a little opening and then flip the inside out. I always li leave, live. I always leave a smaller opening than I need. Okay, so sorry my mom walked in, but I flipped it inside out. And remember that part where I told you to put it on the um, side? Yeah, don't listen to that. That was wrong. Um, I made the same mistake last time, so I thought that was the right way, but no, I did the same thing last time. So we're gonna just attach it now. So while I'm sewing this up, Put it inside. And just so it's shut. And then I'm using a whip stitch for this. At least I think that's what it's called. I'm not really much of a seamstress. Here is the finished product. Oh my gosh, I think it is so cute. And like for the Paris one that I made, you can put um, uh, like letters on it, but I think this one looks so cute, just plain the way it is. And that's it for this DIY. So on to the next one. For the next DIY, we are going to be making an American Girl Book collar. And for this, all you're going to be needing is some tape. So I'm just going to be using this up to tape and then I'm going to make one out of washing tape because you can really use, do this with anything. So what you want to do is I like to use my doll's hand. But this is like a wallet like thing. So this is like my hand compared to it. So it's smaller than my hand. So that's kind of like what you want to keep in mind because then this way, like when we look at the doll's hand, it degrees. Obviously, we're gonna have to fold this piece of duct tape in half because this is way too big. So, and then, but if you're using the washi tape, you won't have to. Maybe this is just common sense for everyone, but I have to do it, so it's kind of awkward. Okay, <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to take a piece of duct tape about two inches long and then fold it on top of itself so that when it's folded, it's two inches. I really struggle with doing this on camera, so I'm going to just do this. It's done. You want to take this, the bottom half, and fold it up so that there's still a little bit left, and then you want to duct tape these sides. And then just secure that down with your piece of tape. So then here you have the basic wallet and then you can decorate this however you would like with stickers you can add more pockets um you can basically go okay, so here they are um so here is the purple one we made together i decorated it with some stickers that i found um i didn't change the inside and then i made this other one out of that pink washi tape and i'm so happy with how this one turned out i actually added a third pocket or second pocket sorry um, that you can see there. I really love this one. I feel like the pattern's so fun. And um, here they are compared to the doll's hand. I think they're super cute and like correctly sized. I mean, look how cute that is. All right, so on to the next okay, DIY. So for the final DIY, you're gonna be needing some cardboard, a glue stick, paper, and some markers. So the first thing you want to do is cover your piece of cardboard with some paper. It can be any color, but I'm just using this white paper. The next thing I'm going to do is just quickly decorate my... This is for 
painting room if you can't tell already. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is, so this is kind of like a little poster. So if you ever see like the things like you are beautiful, stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing something similar to that, but because I'm actually, I take Mandarin in school, I'm going to be writing it in Mandarin. So I'm gonna write me sure um, May, which means you're beautiful. And so if you want to learn a little bit of Mandarin. So I'm using these three pink markers. Start with the knee. So you do the people's radical. Okay, what is that? Me. So that's you. And then shirt is like R or to be. And then May. It's beautiful. And fun fact, um, I don't know if my stroke order is probably so long. So, May, which means beautiful. May school is um, America, so it's a beautiful country. Anyway, um, I'm gonna add a couple more stickers, um, but I think it looks kind of cute. And this is the final thing. I think it is so cute, and um, I hope my Scarlet doll it looks nice in her room. And with that said. That's the end of the- If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe down below. Um, on the screen, as you can see, don't forget to watch my Christmas DIYs and um, my regular DIYs, I guess. The Christmas DIYs does have some regular ones, so definitely check those out. And with that said, Quahari, see you next time.